For lots of products, the physical interaction between the device and its user is an important measure of its performance. Exercise cycles and automobiles are two examples. For these products, adjustability is used to accommodate a large portion of users. In this video, we're going to talk about how experiments can be used to capture user behavior and relate it to body size to configure the dimensions of products. In our research, we conduct experiments with representative prototypes. Sometimes we use advanced prototypes with lots of adjustability, like this vehicle dynamics simulator. These permit a user to interact with the product without constraints. In the case of automotive packaging, real vehicles driven on roads are typically used to validate results from the lab. Study participants are selected to ensure that the range of potential users from small to large, weak to strong, and everyone in between are represented. Often, we only need to test user behavior on a couple of product dimensions, and a simple mock-up will work. Prototypes constructed by modifying existing products, or using materials purchased from a local hardware store, are often sufficient to measure parameters under investigation. How many times have you walked through a door today? We use them all the time, but did you ever realize that both the breadth of your body and your stature influence your perception of the experience? Door sizing is well studied, but it's a good example of how our body size and shape affect our perception of the world around us. We're going to set up an experiment correlating door size with body size and user acceptability and comfort. Here we've drawn a simple sketch of the doorway experiment as we envision it. The actual doorways are outlined in red. We think it would be best to have sections of walls between the different doorways and we're going to be using large chunks of styrofoam to act as the walls. These chunks will be held upright by pieces of toe strap that will loop around a large long PVC pipe that will hang from the ceiling. And at the back of each of these walls we're going to be using small pieces of styrofoam. These small pieces of styrofoam will be adjustable and they will serve to uh, demarcate the height of each doorway. And so we're going to go and procure all these items from the local hardware store. So here we are inside the hardware store looking for all the items on our list to make simple prototypes of doorways. First item on the list, styrofoam. Remember, we're using styrofoam for the space around the doorways, velcro, toe straps to support the doors from a PVC pipe, and glue to tie it all together. Okay, so we bought all the stuff we need for our prototypes and now we're gonna go back to our lab and start assembling stuff, so let's go. We need to cut the styrofoam, Glue on the toe straps and velcro. And hang the pipe. Okay, so now we finally assembled the prototypes for our doorways. So let's start running our experiment with our very first participant. When using participants in a study, it's important to explain the risks associated with the study. This is called informed consent, and it's a requirement for doing institutional research with humans. Measuring participant anthropometry is an important component of our experiments. The participant is asked to walk through multiple sets of doorway sizes, with each set consisting of three different sizes of doorways. After each set, we ask the participant to pick their preferred size and indicate their comfort level for each doorway. After we've run the experiment with a sufficiently large number of participants, we'll use the data to build a statistical model correlating preferred door size with anthropometry. The model will indicate when something is tall and wide enough and the expected benefit or cost of changing the size. So this was an example of how a simple experiment can be used to gather data to understand how user behavior is influenced by their anthropometry, whether we're studying doors, automobiles, exercise equipment, or many other products or environments.